YouTube, what's up? It's the Big Face Trucker. As you see, I'm still home. And, uh, just, uh, just, uh, watching, watching what's going on and everything. Um, it's, it's just been some things on my mind. And I know y'all seen the, the video where, you know, my last couple of videos, I guess, I know a couple of videos ago, maybe, that, yo, I was ready to throw in the towel and all that. Um, nah, I didn't really get it to that point. Like, in that video, it was a video where I was going to ride it out and see what's going on. I want to ride this out to see... You know, if it's worth me doing trucking, you know what I'm saying? Is it worth me going out here and being away from the family, being away from home and all that other stuff? And is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe not. You know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just, you know, dropping the jewel. Not even dropping a jewel. I'm just checking in. You know what I mean? Uh, today I got a phone call. Uh, as you see, you see my hat? Thunder funding. They was just checking on to see if I was all right. They didn't call me up on the bullshit of why you haven't ran a load. Or blah, blah, blah. They was just checking up on the old big face. You know what I mean? So, yeah. If you got a problem with your factoring company, I advise you to call Thunder Funding. Ask for Scott. Ask for Willie. Uh, you don't even have to tell them that I sent you. All right. But at the same time, if you got a problem with your factoring company, call them up. See what they can do for you. Because I tell you, all right, I had my doubts in the beginning. But after checking and, and, and dealing with other factoring companies, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. I'm having a good time over here. You know what I'm saying? And plus, I haven't ran a load in a while. So, you know, it is what it is. Go check them out. Now, you know, I know what's going on out here. I see a lot of videos going on out here. And some of it gets me a little upset about it. But, you know, hey, I'm not going to show anger or nothing like that. I mean, it's easy to be seen about what's going on out here. You know what I'm saying? They still got uh, drivers up in D.C. up there. Um, and, you know, they still got a whole lot of things going on. And then you got, you know, other things going on as far as, like, the rates and everything. They the, the rates seem like they little they're coming up just a little, you know, coming up, you know. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Yeah, you know, and now you got the country trying to open up and everything where, you know what I'm saying, is that gonna be a good thing or is that gonna be a bad thing? A lot of people want the country to open up and a lot of people don't want it open. You know, and and at the same time, if we just look at what's going on in China and they're a little advanced than us, all right? Because it happened over there sooner than what we then got, you know? So they're on their second wave over there and it seems to me, by watching the news, it seems to me that they're catching hell. Now we're about to open up. And our second wave is going to probably be very, very, very bad. 
uh, we got more deaths in the United States than what happened in Vietnam. All right. So if, you know what I'm saying? It's like I've been touched over over 17, 18 times with deaths of the COVID-19 friends, friends of a friends, friends, daughters, fathers, friends, daughters, mothers, goes on, people. Also, it seems to me the stress and the energy in the air when I go into uh, grocery stores, you can feel the vibe in the air. It's, it's people. I mean, people's vibes, you feel it. It's so strong out there. If you can feel vibes, if you're just numb to all the shit that's going on and you think it's all about you, then you don't feel that vibe. You don't feel that energy. All right. It's an, it's more like that you have to really come and touch with yourself and realize when you are and why you are and where you are. Deep, deep science right there. Uh, it, they're, they're doing their thing up there. And, and it's going to be a change. I hope it be a change in this industry because for years and years and years, the same thing's been going on and on and on. For you guys have been out here for a hundred years or whatever, it's the same thing that's been going on today. Some don't want it to change. Some wanted to keep it the same. And some feel like if you keep it the same, they continue to make their secret money. Some of you just riding it because you want to be the one that goes against the grain. You know, there's some that like going against the grain because that's the way they want to feel. They want to be heard. They want to be seen. They want to be, you know what I'm saying? They want to be the the front, front person of the negative vibe. And that's cool. You know, that's cool with you. That's it's cool with me. I only I, I don't worry about you or you know what I'm saying? I just worry about what's going on with me. And you know, and and uh for what these people are doing up there in DC, honking their horns, whatever they got to do or march with whatever they're protesting or whatever, fine. You know what I'm saying? Fine. Because obviously, all right, uh, disrespected truckers, all right, is the ones that stepped out. The first ones that stepped out, all right, to make this change. So, We got a lot of people that got their fucking ways of saying things and by the, the, the what they want to do and how it should be done and everything. But you know what? Not one motherfucker is up there that I see on motherfucking YouTube, all right, is up there stating what they want, how they want to be done. And there's motherfuckers that's there on YouTube that want to jump on the bandwagon and want to start their own fucking little militia. <laughs> it's a fucking joke. All right. Copy fucking catters, biters. You don't like the way this group is doing their thing, right? You don't like it, but I tell you, the motherfuckers is hurt. They jumped out there. They did it. They did it. And it's done. All right. They're hurt. All right. And they're going to continue to do it because they're not going to stop. All right. But we could sit back and make YouTube videos about these cats and be highly against them. All right. But I'd be damned if them motherfuckers is heard and they make the fucking change and the change is out for the better. And for what you're doing, it makes your shit better. You make more fucking money. Right. All right. I'll be damned if you don't fucking jump on board. And you will change your motherfucking story or you won't fucking, ex you won't sit back and not accept 
the shit that is probably going to make the change and make it better. Because that's all it is, man. It's not there to make it the same. It's there to make it better. All right? It's time for a change. Don't you think so? I don't care. I do care. Put it this way. I do care in which way the change is going to be. But I know the change is going to be better than what the fuck we dealing with right now. All right. And we all know what we dealing with right now. All right. I went to a shipper and I fell the fuck out and had to been rushed out in an ambulance to go to a hospital because the motherfuckers had us standing in the hot sun. All right. And I had a heat stroke. All right. Yo. Just fucking treat us like fucking humans. You know what I'm saying? You could have let us in the fucking facility. You got us all lined up like a fucking unemployment line standing in the fucking sun. And this is the spot out in, uh, I'm not even going to name the spot, but I'm going to tell you it's in South Carolina and we take a lot of water there. All right. And uh, I had to sit there. I got out. The hospital treated me the worst. So fuck that. I'm not even going to go that deep, deep. All right. I don't know if I made a video about this or whatever, but fuck that. Let's let's leave that alone. All right. You would think that the facility would check on me because I fell out in their fucking spot on their property. You think they would call me up? I'm a driver. I got a fucking load of water for y'all. The loader was the water was still on my fucking trailer. You think they would call down there and say, hey, you know the driver. I could have been from fucking Oregon. You know what I'm saying? In a place that I didn't know nothing about. You think they fucking checked on me? Not none of the fucking shirts and ties checked on, but they was down there checking to see if I slipped and fall and was going to fucking sue them. They was there for that shit. All right. But it was one young lady in that office. All right. She checked on me on her time when she got home. All right. But I'm not going to go there to that point. All right. This is what I'm talking about, how we get treated. All right. But at the same time, right, what pisses me the fuck off, right? I'm watching these YouTube channels. All right. And really, I'm, 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 you know, I'm really the, like ready to sign off for them because you know what? I get tired of seeing the same shit, the same fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Hearing the same shit. But meanwhile, these motherfuckers want to get on the fucking coattails and ride the coattail. All right. Or they don't want to ride the coattail. They want to twist the coattail, wrinkle it up, push it to the side and, and, and want to do something else but going in that same direction because they want their name or they want the publicity of going out there and, and getting it in their name. They can't do that. It's too, it's too, it's much bigger than you, yo. This shit is much, it's getting large. If you're not, if you're not following, you probably are following more. Most YouTubers are following what's going on up there. All right. Look, the guy, Rick, the guy, Rick, we ain't heard nothing from him. I ain't heard nothing from him. I, I was checking him out in, in the group. We ain't heard nothing from him. Some other dudes stepped in. Some, some well-spoken dudes stepped in, which was the right thing to do. But at the same time, you know, hey, it's about to get real. So I don't see not one, one of these big-time YouTubers who talk all this all this, all this crap, you know, got people just saying all type of shit against it. But when it falls in their, in their lap and they start fucking benefiting from it, I bet you won't hear them say nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Nothing else against it because it's benefiting itself. Why stick to the same shit all the time? This is shit. Y'all know it's shit. Shit is much more expensive than the shit back in the fucking days. All right. 
Let's make shit make sense today. Let's make fucking real money and nobody can take it from us because what we're worth. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, leaving the house and getting in the truck and not even thinking if you're going to make it back safe is a whole lot to you and your family. And for the motherfuckers that live in their truck and don't have nobody that love you, you got to love yourself. All right. But if you got people that love you and like to see you come home, all right, come on now. It's time for a change. Let's get paid for that shit. Let's get paid sleeping in a fucking truck. All right. Let's get paid sitting at the fucking dock and a motherfucking say, yeah, we're going to pay you. You're going to pay you. You're going to pay you. You leave the fucking dock and you like, yo, can you send the Raycon? And they don't answer their fucking phone. You know what I mean? We all know what the fuck that's all about. They ain't paying you no detention. All right? How does that feel? Do you want to keep going on with that shit? How does that feel? This is, you know, and then, you know, you go out here, oh, the brokers don't make the rate. Oh, this, that, and that, the fuel is the rate. This and blah, blah, blah. Motherfucker, let me tell you something. Anytime I could take a motherfucking load, right, and speak to a broker and talk to him and talk to him and con the shit out of him, and then they slip up and they fucking say, okay, you could take the load for 2800 But meanwhile, the motherfucking load on there for 1700 How much money is really in the motherfucking load? Real shit, son. So don't tell me the bullshit, all right? I might be new out here, but I ain't stupid, and I ain't new to making money. All right. So listen, I appreciate y'all coming through watching this video. I really appreciate y'all watching this because, yo, this is just supposed to be on my journey. But you, you know what? This is a part of my journey. This is a part of my journey. And at the same time, I don't know whether I like trucking now or whether I'm going to go back into trucking or what I'm going to do with trucking. All right. Only because of the bullshit that goes on. We can never be united out here as truckers and, and run on the same path. All right. It might be groups and groups with different fucking feelings. Yes, it's going to be like that. But you look at them fucking brokers, them fucking brokers run together. They run together. And if one fuck up, they're going to check that motherfucker and that motherfucker going to fall in the suit. All right. And they're going to say, yeah. We ain't letting no fucking loads leave out of Florida no more than 80 cents. And they stick to that shit. They stick to that shit. And then, you know what? They tell the fucking shipper, this is the deal. They make their own fucking private deal with the fucking shipper, probably. We don't know this shit. The shit, the shit goes down between the shipper and the broker. All right? I don't give a fuck about Fuel rate or whatever. Come on now. Let's get real with this shit. Maybe that shit happened on another part of the fucking United States. But I know between Georgia, New York, Florida, all right, through my experience of me out here dealing with these brokers in the fucking two years, three years that I've been running on the spot market, all right, I see the hustle. I see the hustle, all right? And when I see a hustle, we I am raised to raise the size a motherfucker up within the first fucking paragraph of a fucking conversation. All right. The body language that a person. This is what it just natural instinct, how I was raised. So when I'm talking on the phone and, and, and talking to these brokers, I know they fucking lying. You know, they fucking lying. But some of y'all believe they telling the truth. All right. And they not the ones that you call every day. And the ones that you call every day could be fucking lying to you, too. Understand that shit, yo. And if you don't understand it, find a way to understand it. Serious shit. So, you know, for these cats on the YouTube is getting on the bandwagon, blah, blah, blah. Do your fucking thing, yo. If it's going to make a change, going to make a change. 
the cats and disrespected trucker, the dudes that's up there in D.C., don't let no motherfucker body tell y'all y'all are doing something wrong. All right. Y'all on the right path. I don't know what path is going to go. You probably don't know, but I know it's the right path of doing shit. You heard. All right. People hear you. All right. People just wondering why their fucking shit is not on the shelves. I'm telling everybody I can the reason why their shit ain't on the shelves. All right. Come on now. So what are we going to do here? You know what I'm saying? What are we going to do here? We going to keep going back and forth. Who got the baddest truck? How much money I spend on my motherfucking Peter fucking built. All right. Or, or are we going to put fucking shit out there where we wait for the fucking subscribers to ask, to answer our questions? Or are we going to put good information out there? Or are we going to say, hey, let's stick together. What do y'all think we should do? Blah, let's put something together. Let's run with this pack that's already out there. Let's support them. All right? Let's support them. That's all. Just because your name ain't fucking on the front fucking page, right? Don't mean that you can't support them, B. Word bond. If you want this shit to stay the same, that's fine. That's fine with you. I don't want this shit to stay the same, B. I really don't. I really don't, B. Because, yo, I really, I really love trucking when I got into trucking. I really liked it. But when I seen the politics and everything, how this shit fluctuates up and down over here, there, and there, how can you fucking live a life like that? You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's part of the business, motherfuckers be saying. That's business. Yeah, okay. Listen, I ran an auto repair shop, all right? It's not one time politics affected me, all right, of me making my money. I have no fucking control over in trucking, all right? Because a broker makes me beg for a fucking rate. Every time I make a fucking phone call. All right. So therefore you find your broker. Yeah, that's going to be cool with you or whatever. I got one of them. You know what I'm saying? But when he can't get you a load, now you got to beg. You got to beg to get back to his area or either beg to move around in a, in a good area or a bad area or whatever. Yo, who wants to fucking do that? Yo. Why can't we just call up and say, look, this is what I want for that. I know this is running this, in this lane. I'm going up into New York. It's fucking tolls up there. Pay me for my tolls, my fuel, and my time going up in New York City. Pay me for it. Why not? Why not? Oh, we can't pay you that. This is what the rate is. Take it or leave it. I can find a motherfucker that will take it. And nine times out of ten, they find one of you dudes out there, all right, that's probably running right now, you know, that'll take the fucking load just to fucking get from out of an area to another area and not realizing, yo, you just fucking up the game because you taking fucking, uh, 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 you taking a, a fucking load that should be priced higher than that. But you just want to move self shit. You on some self shit. And that's cool. You could be on some self shit. But these cats is not on some self shit up here in fucking DC. They're not on no self shit. All right. Now, another thing. I hear this shit, this this shit. Drivers with flip flops. Drivers with sweatpants. Drivers that, that believe in our law. Drivers with towels on their head. Towel, towel heads. This and that. These dudes is driving trucks in America. They are American truckers. All right. They are being taken advantage of. And y'all are still down, down in them. All right. And the way they're getting taken advantage of. Because when a broker. A fucking broker. All right. A fucking broker. 
here's a, a, a different language, a, a language problem with these guys. When they call, guess what they do? They take advantage of these dudes. And they carry the cheap freight because the broker take advantage of a weak motherfucker. Yeah, they, the language is fucked up. They don't understand whatever. But you do you really do you really think that these motherfuckers want to take a cheap cheap load? They want to make money just like you want to make money. They didn't get in fucking trucking to take cheap loads, Bill. But they're being taken taken advantage of because their language is fucked up. They ain't got it. Yeah, they probably need to brush up on their language or whatever. But yo, it's not fair. It's not fair, yo. And if you can understand that, understand it. If you can't, yo, fuck it. You be on that other shit. All right? You don't like the motherfuckers? Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You can be on that other shit. All right? But other than that, you know what I'm saying? Yo. I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna sit here and say for us to come together because you know why, yo, here's the fucked up. Here's the shit, yo. Here's here's some shit, all right? I'm a YouTuber, right? I'm a YouTuber, right? I drop some videos, but I don't be dropping no videos like motherfuckers be trying to develop some fucking content so everybody could come in and fucking watch them. I don't be dropping no shit like that, all right? I'm a YouTuber, all right? Nah, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say this. I ain't gonna say this on the film. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. It might come out down the line. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. All right? Because I want to put it, put it exactly so everybody can understand. All right? So everybody can understand me. Because if I put it out right now, it's only gonna be both sides are gonna fucking hate, hate me. <laughs> Both of y'all gonna hate me. So I wanna do it right. I wanna do it right, but I ain't gonna do it right now. I'm sipping on some wine right now. Just got finished having dinner. Cooked food for the missus, the daughters, the grands. They just came through. I'm chilling right now. All right. And uh I'm about to uh Look at some loads. I'm going to put something together. I might pull out. I might pull out Thursday, Friday. I might pull out. I've been negotiating some stuff, begging for some rates today. And uh, just to get a feel of how the brokers is thinking out there. The ones that I've been talking and building with and, and dealing with. Because once I go up in New York, man, I got to fucking, I got to I gotta talk or I got to accept the bullshit once I get up there. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm going down to Florida and I don't think I'm pulling watermelons. I don't think I'm going to do that because I see they want, you could probably get $2 going down there because they know you coming out of there and making money coming out of Florida right about now on watermelons. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stick to uh, my brokers that I deal with and their customers that they deal with is no wait time, no cancellations, pull up a dock. I know the number dock to pull in every time I go in. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, just unload me. They unload me quick. I get the fuck up out of there. There's no fucking wait time. 30, 40 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Maybe less than that. 15 minutes. I've been in a spot and I got unloaded in 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Because I pull from the airport and, and and whatever. All right. If y'all didn't see the the video I dropped with my broker, I took it down because that was a jewel. And I'm not going to leave my jewel up. If you took advantage of that, put that in your archives. Because it might help you if you're down here in Georgia or if you if you live here. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drop no more jewels like that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. All right. If you hit me up on a one-on-one, -on -one, I might do something. You know what I'm saying? But 
Trust me, you know what I'm saying? I'm the dude, I'm the dude, right? I'm the dude that goes out and I find I find shit like that. Hookups. All right, because I know just going to P and G and going to Niagara and going to Costco's and shit like that, I know that's not a good hook. That's just a spot to go and deliver it and get out of here or go pick up or whatever. All right. I know good hooks when it's easy to go pick up, when it's a flexible time, anytime. Oh, I, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, oh, it, the shit is on the dock? Yeah, it's on the dock now. When's it need to be live, delivered? It needs to be delivered at 8 o'clock. Okay, all right. So I can come down there at 12 o'clock midnight tonight and pick it up? Yeah, you can come and get it just as long as it's delivered by 8 o'clock in the morning. How far it's away? Oh, it's probably like, uh, uh, he looks, he says, oh, it's uh, 256 miles away. All right, no problem. I got that. That's how I'm, I do shit. All right? And when I get there, boom, boom, it's, it's out of there. All right? And I'm deadheading back because I'm always doing it. Either $3 above. So it's paying me $1.50 and $1.50 back. But we ain't going to go into numbers like that. All right? So, yo, just like I'm saying, yo, 30-minute video, quick video. I figure I just dropped a video. I try to drop something while I'm home. I'm doing really nothing. Um, I am doing something. I'm doing, I'm, I'm still doing trucking while I'm home. Trust me. Um. Today I got a fake letter, all right, uh, jumping off the subject, but I need to warn people that have their own authority out here. Uh, I probably did in a couple of other videos or whatever, but I got a letter today stating that my biannual was due and that if it's not done by a certain date, that I would have to pay $1,000 per day. All right. So me, my mind was somewhere else. I'm thinking somewhere else. So my mind is on, you know, all right, I got to get get set, get ready to get out of here. I got a house shit that's going on. I got shit going on. Left feeling. I read the letter. I was like, let me get in here and go pay this a, a biannual. And not realizing biannual really doesn't cost nothing when you do it through your portal. But there was a third party that sent the letter out me and they use DOT, they use FMCA, and they use that on their letter and it kind of like intimidates you. Don't fall for it. Know your portal. All right, your state portal, you do everything up in there. Know that shit. Yo, go play around in there, whatever. Know it and understand it because you can get caught out there paying that money and thinking that you, you're all set and everything and then go to find out the shit was free. They wanted $149. Right about now, nobody really want to give up no money because if you ain't making no money, you don't want to give up no money. So $149 is $149. So, <clears throat> I caught myself. I pulled it up. I pulled it up. I started going through it. And then I said, hold up. I remember this. And then uh caught myself. But God, guys, <clears throat> guys that's getting their new authority. And they get these all these letters. Some guys go out there and they pay somebody to do all their authority and everything. And say that's it and everything. But next thing... A year goes by and then you got to pay again. It's nothing like <clears throat> like uh, Jeffrey Light told me. It's nothing like knowing your business and doing it yourself. If I could do my own taxes, I one day I probably will. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm saving myself the money and also and I'm, I'm understanding my business much better. You know what I'm saying? But I got a CPA... <clears throat> 
that does my taxes. And he's fair. You know what I'm saying? He, and he's fair. And at the end of the year, he's fair. I mean, I could see myself, you know, paying that amount or whatever I do. So that, that's just something I just had to let y'all know in this video. This video ranged from everything to anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But listen, um, uh, that's about it. All I got to say for y'all today. But I appreciate y'all coming through and checking my video. Um, you know, I, I did a last video on a young man that got shot. It was on some hate crime type thing uh, here in Georgia. And it's becoming a big thing. I'm pretty sure everybody's seeing it on the news. There's some people that like what happened and there's some people that don't like what happened. It is what it is, man. One day we'll all grow up. Because you know what? This pandemic came through. And guess what? It hurt everybody. Whether you was rich or poor, it hurt everybody. We was all in the same boat. And we was all ready to join hand in hand and survive together. But once y'all start getting your own separate money and talking about, I got X amount of money in, in my account and fuck the other fucking truck drivers that didn't do what I did. Fuck them. They can go out of business. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? That's the wrong thought. Of, that's the wrong thing to say. You can keep it in your mind. Keep it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's just fucking straight fucking hate, B. Straight fucking hate. And, 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 it, and, and, and you know, it just shows what's in a person's heart on how that shit goes. And how... And what they say and how they react and what they do. You know what I'm saying? Do I have anybody in my circle like that? No, I don't. Trust me. No. No, I don't. <laughs> so, you know, because I, I try to keep positive people in. I keep positive people in my circle. You know? And, uh... That's just plain and simple. Dude. So, yo, look. This is the big face trucker coming from you. and come I mean, coming at you. <laughs> and uh, I speak from my heart. And I write with my left hand. All right? And uh, I'm just hoping everybody out there is safe. Staying healthy. All right? Think before you make a move. All right. Make it worth your time. All right. Make it worth your life. All right. It's only keeping it real with yourself. If you don't keep it real with yourself, you'll never keep it real with nobody else around you. All right. So y'all hold it down. Hats off to the lady truckers that's out there that's getting it in. Peace.